Major progress has been made on a long-awaited project coming soon to South Huntsville. The final stages of construction are beginning on a brand new skate park at John Hunt Park. News 19's Kayla Smith tells us some skaters are how they're feeling about the new addition. Um, there's just um, a lot of opportunity to, to be surrounded by, a, you know, really kind, encouraging people, regardless of their skill level. Paul Hunter is a part of the growing skateboarding community in Huntsville. The goal is to create a safe space for everyone who is interested in skating, a desire to be a part of this community. He's the founder of the Huntsville chapter of the Brittle Bones Brigade, a group for adult skateboarders. Adults that have all different backgrounds get interested in skating for the first time, uh, return to skating uh, after years away. It's all about building relationships and community, a mission for which the city will soon provide a new venue. The hope is, is that it will be very well received and we have every reason to believe it will be just from the traffic we're seeing coming by and looking. John Hunt Park, shortly to be home to a brand new skate park. 52,000 square feet, including custom made bowls, snake runs, a three quarter pipe and street plaza. Though you can see the bones of the site coming together, Huntsville Parks and Rec Director James Gossett says there are still a few projects to complete. Uh, irrigation still going in, we've got electrical still going in, we've got parking lot, curb and gutter, and so we've got a lot going on there right now, even still. Hunter says he and others in his group hope the new skate park will be a getaway for skaters of all ages. We see the, uh, the overhead lights and we're hopeful, you know, as adults, you know, with busy schedules that when we're getting off work, when we're laying our kids down, we can uh, go out to get away. Uh, and, and skate underneath the lights for a couple hours together. Reporting in Huntsville, Kayla Smith, News 19. Now, no official opening date has been set just yet, but Gossett says he expects the city to have a better idea of when these facilities will be ready for the public by the end of the month. News 19, of course, will keep you updated on the status.